Hi, Floss Tube. Hello. Welcome back. Happy 2020. If you're new to this channel, hello, my name is Claire. I go by Clarity, and this is Beautiful Clarity. Hi, this is a channel where I talk about cross stitch and all other things, except this is not cross stitch, but um, I talk about my cross stitching and my cross stitching journey and how it has helped me through postpartum depression, anxiety, regular depression, regular anxiety, my OCD, obsessive compulsive, all those things. So welcome along. I have been doing this for, well, I'm self-taught November, 2018. So we're past the uh, year mark at this point and boy, oh boy, has my stitching changed. And I will show you that in a hot second. So how are you? Happy 2020. It's been uh, a long time since I've talked to you and I've missed you all. So many things going on um, in life. So it kind of prevented me from getting here to this point, but here we are. Um, this, I have a feeling is gonna be a longer-ish video, ish being the keyword. So if you're interested um, in speeding me up so you don't have to watch the whole video or you can watch the whole video, but like you don't have all the time in the world, the best thing to do is there's three dots somewhere, if you're watching this on a tablet or on your phone, there's three dots somewhere on the top, I forget which corner it is, um, on YouTube and you can hit them and it'll say playback speed and hit me at one and a half or two and it will go a lot faster. And I probably will sound like I'm on some sort of, you know, cartoon animation thing or I'm on drugs. So, <laughs> um, because I tend to talk really fast and really high pitched ish. Um, and then if you add the two speed, oh boy. Um, I love all my floss tube friends out there. I do watch you all at two speed. So when we finally do meet in person and you talk really slow, I'm going to be thinking in my head, oh my God, but you're not talking slow. You're talking regularly. <laughs> I just watch you at two O. So, so much going on. Um, the holidays were great. Lots of family, lots of friends, um, a lot of, uh, wine consumption as well. Uh, but what I'm really here, oh, we were all sick, of course. From like the last time I filmed until like pretty much today, we've been sick. Like it's been a rotating, revolving door of just gross. Um, of course we are because, you know, that's what you do. So when this two, the three-year-old was the last day of school for before the holiday break, he brought home something and then the rest of us just got sick and sick and sick. And we were going on a vacation to my parents in Florida for a few days. And by the time... My husband, um, I stayed for a week extra, um, but by the time he was leaving, he was fine and the baby was fine. The three-year-old was, it was like he was never sick and I was fine. And then we flew home a week later. My husband was fine the whole week he was here. We flew home, the three of us, and we're all sick again. <laughs> Great. Such is life. I've heard, I heard that in the States, this like flu season is going to be like one of the worst. So, fingers crossed. Anyway, good news is I did get a lot of progress done. I did a, a new year, new start-ish, kind of. I'll explain that in a minute. I've been working, I have a um, basement project where it is when the boys are playing. I have a project that I work on while the boys are playing, so I'm supervising that because now they're at the point where they like to fight with each other about toys because if one's playing in this corner and the other's playing in that corner, magically they somehow need to be in the middle and fight over whatever toy that they're not playing with. Is that normal? Parents, is that normal? Of course it is. Anyway, so I have a basement project. I have um, a main project that I'm working on. I printed out, I purchased and printed out my 24 hours of cross stitch um, planner and I set that all up. So I'll walk you through how I set it up because I know Jen Lee, the creator of it, is always interested in how everybody else has set theirs up. So I set mine up a little bit differently than everybody else. Maybe, I don't really know, we'll walk through it. Um, and when I found out about the Australian wildfires, I was devastated. And so I ended up finding ways to support both my hobby and the wildfires. So we'll talk about that in a second. And what else? That's it, really. I've missed you. I've watched, I've been watching. I may have not been commenting on videos because I've been watching late at night or just, you know, stitching, um, which I think honestly is one of the biggest compliments, uh, for me at least, if you're watching me or listening to me while you're stitching, don't leave, a, I mean, tell me that you're doing that, but like, it's okay. 
I, I kind of like when people are like, I like to stitch with other floss tubers, if that makes any sense. Um, so if you don't, if you don't see me commenting, it's probably because I'm stitching. Otherwise, if I'm watching and watching, just for like watching, I'll actively leave a comment. Um, 90% of the time I'm stitching and it kind of is a nice relaxing camaraderie thing for me um, because I have such anxiety like I don't know what to comment because I feel awkward and because my anxiety just swells up so much that I'm like ah word vomit and my fingers won't type so but I am watching you I have a queue of like 35 um, I'm still so far behind I think I'm caught up to Today's January 22nd. I think I'm at like January 6th. So from January 6th on, I think that's where I'm at. Um, but I will, uh, I'm getting there. So anybody that I'm missing floss tube wise, please let me know. Um, I'm a huge fan of finding new friends. Um, hopefully making new, <laughs> making new friends. Um, anybody on Instagram I should be following or watching, let me know. Um, we'll talk from there. So that's enough chit chat. That's enough about life. That's enough about everything else. Let's get into it, shall we? Um, where should we start? Let's start with whips. Um, so I don't remember the last time what I talked about. It's been so long. But I do remember that I there was a snow day. And I don't know if I talked about how I started this. This was a gift. No, wait. Where did I get this? Excuse me. Um, this was a, oh, I know. I purchased this from my friend who was unloading all the, um, her deceased friend's stash. Um, so I purchased this from her. So this is that. And then I have it in a picture this plus shale. I want to say this is 32, but it's probably 28 count. Snow day start. That's all. I'll get there. I might bring this one to Mexico. I don't know. I'm going to Mexico in about a month to see Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds play. Um, and I do need a few project, like a project to bring. So maybe that'll be it. I don't know. What do you think? Should I bring it? I don't know. Um, what else? So that's that. Oh, I might, um, so last year, yeah, I think this time, actually February of last year, I had purchased a few patterns from, well, what is now, not there on Etsy, but she's still on Instagram, pattern art collection. And they're kind of intense. For a newbie, they're intense. And so I thought I could do it. I was also doing four strands over one on 14 count Ada because I didn't understand. When I thought two strands, I thought you did the two strands together, then folded them in half, then did the loop start from there. I didn't think you needed one strand, fold it in half and do the loop start from there. So I was doing a very thick, full coverage. I did not like it. It was very uncomfortable. I was losing my tracking, but, um, and so I ended up throwing it away because I was like, this is too many mistakes. So I started again. This is Jeannie, um, from Pattern Art Collection. As you can see, I've got some half stitches because I ran out of floss, um, but there we go. So this is still on the 14 count Ada. This is the called for DMCs. And as you can see, there's a lot of light effects. I'm not a fan of the coverage of the 310 but that's okay. I understand that it's 14 count Ada and then I'm doing two strands. Um, but it's a lot easier this time around because I know what I'm doing and I'm counting, I'm counting. I'm actually paying attention to how the counting is going. Um, a lot of, not confetti, what I thought when I started this a year ago, I thought it was a lot of confetti, but it's really not that bad. It's very mathematical. She has everything in the grid of five. Um, so uh, it, it's it's easier this time around than it was when I was a newbie. Um, this is will be, I think there's a few more, I think this is page one, this is like a page, then you got the tail. So I'm planning to finish this sometime in February. And I only say planning to because I'm using this as part of my 24 hour cross stitch, hours of cross stick, cross stitch, a cross stick, <laughs> wow. And I'm also in a few um, challenge groups on Facebook. Well, yeah, challenge groups on semi-sane stitchers. And then there's another one that counts ridiculous, the ultimate cross stitch group. And then I think that was it. So I'm using this for, there was a challenge where you had to do 5,000 stitches in the month. So I'm using this for the 5,000 stitches. Um, 
right now I think where I started I think I started counting at like 200 stitches so I think so 200 plus whatever I'm at right now and as of today January 22nd I'm at 1600 and something stitches for the month um, so I probably won't hit the 5,000 for this month, but I am going to continue on for next month because this is like 101 by 100 and something. It's pretty full coverage. Um, these obviously are going to be full filled in as well. So it's pretty full coverage. I'm pretty sure that I'll have at least another 3,000 stitches in this. I don't know, but I'm going to use this for this month to challenge myself to five. If I don't get to 5,000 hopefully I want to hit 3,000 and then next month I'll probably just finish it um so we'll see how that goes I don't know how I'm going to FFO it um if anybody has any ideas I'm going to insert a picture here of what it looks like so that you can get an idea so here's the picture It's going to be very interesting to see how I FFO it, if I even get to that point. Um, I plan on it, so that's good. Um, as I said, I'm working on a basement project. Um, it's basically when the kids are playing downstairs in the basement, which is their playroom-ish kind of a craft pit. So where I am right now, I'm in my basement. Um, so when the boys are playing down here, I'm stitching on something, and it's usually a small-ish well, no, I made that up now. It's going to always be a small. So here's my small for here. I am doing the 2019, this is a 2019 Prairie Schooler. This is on 32 count Zweigart. I wanna say French lace. I don't remember the name or the color, but it's 32. Um, and I f had finished one of these before and I gave it to my mom in a frame for her, my birthday. Who gives presents on their birthday to other people? I do. Um, so I gave it to my mom for my birthday uh, back in October. So here's where I'm at for my personal 2019 Santa. Um, I also have a question for everybody. I am planning on stitching each Santa for every year that I've been stitching. Here's the problem. I started back in, as we, as we discussed, November 2018. Should I invest and get the 2018 Santa too and stitch that? I haven't yet um, because this is 2019. I like I have 2019, I'll do 2020, but like should I go get the 2018? Because I technically started in 2018. So I don't know, I'm debating it. I say yes, my husband says yes, but I'm like, I don't know why I'm so torn about it. Anyway, if you have an idea, if you want to help me out, let me know. Um, what else? Oh, update on my hade. The fabric is here. I got 25 count Easy Grid Lugana. I'm going to do two over one. It is the Farewell to Anger. I'm doing it with Jan Hicks, Carolyn Zook, and a whole bunch of other people. Um, so I'm the last one to really get on board with this hade train. Um, it is... Gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous. I know. I had posted on Instagram a few weeks back about how I'm excited about it because I have a whole bunch of Aphromoths actually hanging in my house. Um, so if you go on my Instagram, at Beautiful Clarity, um, and if you scroll, if you go to my profile and hit the hobbies story, like highlight reel, all the way towards the end, like the newer stuff, you'll see my Aphromoths and you'll see my story about how I ordered the fabric. The fabric is here. I am letting it like sit out <laughs> um, and figuring out how I have to cut it because I am doing it two over one. So it is going to be quite large. I think it's going to be like 27 by, no, 27 by 31. I don't, or either way, I have enough fabric for it. Um, I was having it sit out because I was getting ready to do, I also purchased the large print copy of the pattern, hard copy. And so I was getting it all set up. I laid out the pattern. I laid out the pattern, the first page of the pattern on the fabric. And I laid out the, uh, the floss chart and I was getting everything ready. And I was like, I'm going to stitch this 10 by 10 square. So the hundred stitches today. Well, I'm getting everything out. I'm finding, I'm going through all my floss and I realized that I only have two out of like the five colors of the first 100 colors, stitches. So... That's where I'm at right now. I have to run to Joanne's eventually. I'm waiting for either a big sale or a uh, really
really good coupon and I missed it this past weekend with the Martin Luther King holiday here in the States. So of course I missed it, but um, it's coming. I will be doing my Haid eventually. It is on my agenda, at least page one or two rows of 100 each. So like one, two. Either way, I have 75 pages of this thing because I purchased the large copy, the large print. So if I do a page a month, it's gonna take me 75 months, which is math, a long time. Oh well. All right, so were you devastated by the Australian wildfires too? Yeah, of course, we all are. Um, koalas are really cute, right? And they're really sad because they're burning and the eucalyptus that they drink and they eat is also burning. I'm a huge fan of eucalyptus. Now I'm worried that the eucalyptus is going to be gone too. So let's do whatever we can to support and send our love and hugs and prayers to Australia. I know my husband and I have taken some time and funds that we were had left over from Christmas and sent it along. Um, just because it's one of those things that you know, a, a tragedy happens and you do what you can. Um, so when Hands Across the Sea samplers came out, and I'm not really a sampler person, but when it came out with this Jane Marshall, and I read the story and I watched Nicola's, Nicola Parkman's video about this video, uh, this chart, and about how the money is being divided up and where it's going, blah, blah, blah. I knew I had to have it. Now, this is totally not my style whatsoever. Especially when I finish this, my I guarantee you, my husband's gonna say, who the heck is Jane Marshall? And why is it 1857? Why is she 10 years old? Who is she? Like, I could just hear it. But look at those colors. Like, aren't those fun? So on Instagram, Vana, Twisted Stitcher, you all know and love her, she posted a color palette, she punched it up. I'm gonna be doing line on ivory, and this is a terrible way to do all this. This was dumb, but she punched it up with a whole bunch of pretty colors from DMCs. Um, she has it on her Instagram. There's a uh, side by side. She has the call fours and then hers. Um, so she punched it up, and I was all excited to do it. So I I, I had kitted it all up. I have it on an ivory um, 28 even leaf from Zip Weigart. Um, so like all these colors, it was gorgeous, right? Like they're just really pretty on this ivory They're because the punched up colors really do work. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. Then I thought, should I like get it all ready and do it right now? Or should I wait? And in the middle of that debate, Mrs. Sadist, or my favorite silk, silk hand dyer, whatever you want to call her. She's beautiful. Raquel. I said, you know, she had kitted up with her silks, the the sampler. And I was like, oh my God. So I, I wrote her a comment on Instagram and I said, if you so happen to make a pack of this, it will be gladly purchased and sent off to into the United States and I will stitch it. So a few days later, she listed it on her website and I just purchased it this morning. So hopefully it arrives in the somewhat near future. I know um, shipping is shipping overseas takes a long time anyway, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm excited to see uh, her version. If you haven't seen Mrs. Sadis' Silks, her version of the Jane Marshall, go look at them. Go on Instagram, go on her website. She has a website in addition to her Etsy site. Um, they're, they sell the same stuff, but I just went through her website. It's gorgeous um, and I can't wait. So we're gonna uh, stitch that when it happened, when the silks come in. I was gonna stitch it twice, but then I was like, well, that's dumb because why? Why did I do that to myself? So anyway, yay. All right, so I know that everybody's like, okay, let's do the, the planner with the planner. No, we have a few more things to get to before I do my planner, especially because I'm still mentally preparing for the month of February and how I'm going to plan all my stuff. Um, so because I haven't seen you in like forever and a day, of course I have a little bit of stash acquisition, um, haul, whatever you want to call it. I like stash acquisition just because it doesn't sound like I spent a thousand million dollars on things. Plus it's a great way to hide the <laughs> word haul. Um, it's a great synonym, so to speak. Um, I did get a lovely Christmas box from my friend Patience, Stitch in 304. It's spread out through all my things. So, um, she knows what she sent. 
and I love it. Um, and we'll go from there. So that's that. If you are already a fan or not a fan or don't know of, you need to go find B Stitch Me, B E S T I C H Me, M E, on Instagram and join her Facebook group because Brandy hand dyes the most beautiful colors of fabrics. So we're gonna start with I joined her fabric of the month club. Probably shouldn't have, but whatever, it's fine. Who needs more fabric? Not me. Um, <laughs> so she, I'm gonna start with January. Wait, no, wait, let's go in reverse. She had a sale. I had purchased a fabric way back and I started a Zelda, I restarted a Mirabilia that I'm going to be working on in 2020. It's in my planner. But I purchased a fabric and then she sent a coupon code and I loved it. So um, we're gonna start with, she had a giveaway on Instagram back in December. Yeah, and a sale. So I had purchased this, it's called Twinkle. Crinkle, crinkle, sorry. It's more pink. There's a lot more pink in there too. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna stitch with this. I had an idea, but I have to do a floss toss. This is a 25 count and it's gonna be fun different. So in conjunction with that, she, I had purchased that. And then like the next day I had won a um, pattern that she was giving away on Instagram. And so it's this golden gate and oh my God, I know I just got myself into the hate and this is probably very similar. Um, God help us all. This is not going to be on my docket anytime soon, but I just, I love that like watercolory feel to it. Look how pretty. So when I um, won this, I messaged Brandy and I was like, can you just send it with the fabric I just purchased? She was like, yeah, no problem. So if you need hand dye fabrics, go to uh, Brandy, she's awesome. So a few days later, January fabric of the month went out. Is it January? No, wait, I'm all backwards. So this is December fabric of the month. It's called Earth. It's got some brown tones in it, I think. I have an idea of what I want to use this for. I don't really know. We'll see, crinkle, crinkle. This is January and she, I love this color. Look at this marbling. It's called Strawberry Shortcake. How cute. And Brandy always gives a, uh, I'm not gonna, cause you didn't get every month. I mean, I should, I don't know. She always gives a coupon code, so for your monthly purchase. So there's that. Let's see, what else? Then um, when I was in Florida with the boys, I needed to get them into cool air conditioning one day because it was really hot and I was getting like, really lightheaded from being hot. So we went to Hobby Lobby, of course we did, um, which is where I got the linen even weave for my chain Marshall. I stacked up on those flosses from Vana, which now I not regret. You can never have enough DMC in your mustache, but, um, we went to the stitching aisle and my three-year-old saw this. Thankfully, there were two on the shelf because here's the story. So my three-year-old wanted me to hand it over, but in the process, so he was in the big part of the basket and my one and a half year old was in the, you know, where the baby sit. And so in the process of handing this over, the baby took it. And then they started screaming, yelling at each other. So I had to hand both of them the Star Wars. I took a picture and I sent it to my husband and he said, no, don't get both, just get one. And I was like, yeah, that's fine because I'm getting another one for myself. Because I love this, right? I mean, it looks like a lot of backstitching. This may be my Mexico project, but I feel like I might finish it before I even get off the plane. Because this is a four and a half hour flight. I don't know. Maybe this will come with me to Mexico with the seashells. I don't know. Maybe seashells shouldn't come. I also have another one upstairs somewhere. Um, it was it was one of these ones. I had a kit and it said life is better in flip flops. And that might come to Mexico as well. So we'll see how that all goes. So that was my haul-ish. I didn't get any haul for Christmas. Uh, I think that's it, yeah. So yeah, nothing like exciting for stash acquisition, haul, stash acquisition. I think the more exciting thing is the Mrs. Satis silks that are in route because knowing that the Jane Marshall was given to uh, charity and then the, excuse me, Mrs. Satis silk was also doing some, uh, she was also donating a portion to charity. That made a big difference for me. So 
Santa's done. We talked about whips. We talked about acquisition. We talked about plans. All right, let me get my binder and let's do this. You have to da da. All right, it's a two inch binder because that's all I had in my house with one of these fun protective sleeves. So here is the cover. I printed it in black and white. Um, Jen's is all pretty colorful. Uh, if you want to get your own, go ahead on to Jen's. I'll link it. It's on her Etsy. I think she created her Etsy just for this. But here is the big binder. And here we go. So I printed the first, like, I think it was like 10 pages. And then as you can see, I have 12 dividers. I don't know where I got these dividers from, but it worked out perfectly. And I am printing one month at a time. So January is all printed and pretty much all done. And now I just printed out February and I started working on my plans for February this morning during my morning quiet time because I woke up before the boys did this morning and it was great. So here we go, we've got page one. So this is all before tab number one. So I feel like I'm teaching at school again. I used to be a, a college teacher-ish kind of. I, I did a, a few classes and I'd have to like, not read books like kids books, but like I'd have to show them how we set up binders. So here we go, 24 hours of cross stitch monthly focus tracker. And as you can tell, yes, that is my handwriting. My mother was a kindergarten teacher, so it was ingrained in my head how I'm going to write. And it kind of stuck with me. This is like me scribbling. This is my dirty scribbling. Yes, I know, people are, be impressed. I'm impressed with myself. Same here. So this is a year long ABC challenge. Um, I haven't filled all of it out yet, but I think I'm definitely more than 12 because it says starting January 1st and running through the 31st, try connecting 12 to 24 letters of the alphabet. So I did. Next page. Now this is how I read to my boys too. So here we go, just for fun. List 24 of your favorite designers or designers you'd like to stitch. I am on number 14, so I need 10 more. Please give me 10 more. Leave me a comment. Here we go. 24 things you'd like to stitch. Themes, objects, specialty stitches, etc. There we go. Instead of me reading them to you, if you're watching this on speed, it's okay. I'll go really slow. If you're not watching this on speed, look, and you're stitching, look up. You don't have to, I'm just kidding. I may have spelt a few things wrong, but whatever, right? I hope this isn't backwards. I really don't. Because if it is, then this whole planner thing is just dumb. Yeah, here we go. Now, I was going to write everything out, like the months, but one, obviously we know what month that is. January, so I don't know how Jen's is printed out, but I know I changed mine up, the page orientation, not orientation, but like the, the layout, layout's not the right word either. You know what I mean. The way that her pages are listed in her planner are a little bit different than the way I rearranged mine. Um, and I think even my February is a little bit different than my January. The pages are all still the same, but whatever. So here we go with January. So we got 5,000 stitches for one of the groups and I'm, oh, semi sane world travel. Finish, I have, these are my goals for the month. A finish, a finish, and a start. Haven't started, haven't finished either. Great, because I started Aladdin and that's taking up a lot of my time. Dates to remember, I wrote down when I was on vacation. I had to write a update post on for one of the groups. Um, and then my Aladdin update is gonna be on the 30th. Here's some new starts, didn't do either. And then I, um, she left like a lot for new starts. So I'm using the second as uh, the second column as challenges. Um, so I have my semi stitches in China, semi stitches, uh, alphabet soup, animal, the Disney, the enchanted stitches group. Um, and then I tried to do the literary group, but um, I re didn't read that book because my mom told me my anxiety would just be so depressing that it would just really work me up. So the book I wanted to read was Where the Crawdads Sing, and I can read it, but at the same time, my mom was like, if you had a hard time with The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, and I couldn't finish that book. She goes, then don't read Crawdads. So I'll have to revisit that. I did read a, uh, an Elin Hildebrand, the Rumor, it's the one on uh, Nantucket. Wasn't really the, her best, but um, I read that in like a week. So I could use that, but either way. 
And then we're at the calendar for 2020 for Jan. Duh. For January, um, I'm checking off every day I stitched. I do have um, a tracker, so, like a daily tracker somewhere. I printed out, somebody made in some of the groups that I'm in, a PDF of uh, all the days of the month. And it's beautiful. I just don't know. I think it's with in my project bag with all my land and stuff. Anyway, so some dates, like I need to update the literary, update 5,000, and update Animal Kingdom, um, stitch around the parks. And then we go the January acrostic. Now, as you can see, I actually have been checking it off because I'm finishing it. So here we go. Our, I have stitched, as of today, like I said, close to... 2,000 stitches on Aladdin. So that's why a lot of my Aladdin ones are checked off. Um, I have 120 left and then 1,200. So, oh boy, math. Uh, 320, oh no, 1,320 stitches left on Aladdin, which again would not equal the 5,000, but if I can get them on, the, on here, that'd be great. Um, Santa will get finished. He'll get those 120 stitches easily. And then urine chalk. <laughs> uh, what am I kidding? Right? What am I kidding? My urine chalk is going to take a very long time because I really need good lighting. I feel like urine chalk is going to be summer projects because of the lighting. So then here she has the January, well, she, me, slash Jen, printed out January holidays. So every day, um, I was gonna commit, but being away, it threw everything off. Um, like I said, it was, a, it was a short but quick long trip. I was there for two weeks, my husband was there for one, and then the second week I was really like taking care of my grandfather and things like that, so it was a very busy, busy vacation-ish. It wasn't really a vacation, it was more like visiting family the whole time. Um, so I didn't really get a chance to stitch on those days, and today being the 22nd, library shelfie day. Oh my God, I should have taken the boys to the library. Oh well, they're napping. So tomorrow's National Handwriting Day, so let's celebrate my handwriting today. Words to live by. Who was I? Crafty Kim finished it. Congratulations, Crafty Kim. Before I see you in July for the Floss Tube Retreat, I do plan on finishing it. Just not on these days. <laughs> then Jen had made a January recap page, which is uh, my favorite stitchy moments, the tweaks for next month's plan, finishes and then I changed this second column to to do slash prep for February. So I'm gonna prep for page one of my haid, um, make a project bag for Mexico because I have like, if you should see this table that I'm sitting at, I have like a whole bunch of project bags ready to, go. well, all the fabric, everything cut and ready to go. I just like physically stitch them all up. Sew them together and stitch is not the right word. Plan for stitch counts for the groups, um, two world landmarks, which will be through Aladdin, and then Animal Kingdom planning as well. So um, there's a, in the Enchanted Stitches group, there is an event where you can stitch around the parts. Um, and I think it's by steps, so each step is one stitch. And I am stitching my way through. So I'm gonna start with A for Animal Kingdom, then Epcot, then Hollywood Studios, then Magic Kingdom. So now we're on month two, and I kind of just did this this morning. I have a feeling things are gonna change. And again, like I said, my February is a little bit laid out differently than um, January. But here we go, 24 hours of cross stitch for February. I have my folk. Now, I know she didn't do this by design. It was actually the way that the calendar laid out, but it was perfect because I'm gonna finish Aladdin and the Be a Flamingo kit. Excuse me, Be a Flamingo. This is definitely gonna be Oh, that's a lot of backstitch. I can do this on the plane, right? I, anybody have ideas? Like, it comes with a needle and floss. Oh, does it come with a needle? Okay, it does. Um, but anybody have an idea? Oh, no, these kids are easy. I don't really need a, um, I stitch and then weave it in and I can just cut it when I get to the airport or the uh, resort. I'm sure they have a sewing kit. Anyway, um, start my haid and complete two project bags. Now that would get one, two, three, four. Nine. I have 10 project bags lined up to go. Now, not saying that I have 10 project bags, whips or projects for those bags. I'm gonna, like my mom loves them. She doesn't even stitch, but she loves them because she, I gave her one for, she's taking a class 
I think everyone went for school, so she loved it. So things like that. February highlights. Um, my goals. Dates to remember. New start. And then my challenges. So that's these challenges. Like I said, I have to like abbreviate which group is what. But um, Marvel is from the Disney Fairy Godmother Challenge. Hawaii um, is, I forget who, but these are two of the landmarks. And then I should put the um, Animal Kingdom down here as well. I don't know if any of these are going to be significant enough. Oh, the linen and thread sal drops on the first. So I might have the linen and thread sal be one of the, uh, one of these, uh, Animal Kingdom. Oh yeah, my linen and threads. That's the mystery sale that everybody's doing. Totally forgot, I'm sorry. I am doing it on 32 count antique white linen um, using only DMC 793. So it's like a cornflower blue. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if I, next time I'll show you. And here we are for the February crossing. Now this was hard. I had a really hard time putting this together, especially because I don't know the status of where Aladdin is going to be. I know Genie slash Aladdin is not going to be completed this month, January, definitely not. So I'm going to bring it across, bring it into next month. I also, my focus pieces, which are pretty stupid, right? Like, down. What are my focus pieces? Flamingo and the year and chop. So the flamingo, I might, okay, so I have hold please, hold please. Hold, please. I always laugh when people do that on YouTube. Like, what am I holding for? I'm gonna keep watching you anyway. Hold, please. Okay, so I have this kit as well. So I might just bring this and this with me to Mexico and just call it a day. Um, and just, yeah, probably do that because I think the two flamingo kits, I should be okay. Anyway, um, and my linen and thread cell, I'm hoping to have that done caught up. I should, I really should this weekend pull out the linen and thread cell and just knock it out for January so that for February I can start it. Also idea. Thanks Jen. Um, it, because I have whole punch this out. I am also going to be putting in the patterns that I'm using. So like for this time next year, when she, well, now she has no choice, Jen, I'm telling you right now, you're making a 2021 planner because I need this again in my life. So like, when the mystery, when I'm done with the, my working copy of January, I'll put it in with January, February, same thing. Or just keep it in here with February in case I don't get to February. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Keep track of it. Um, e is the color, Aladdin, Flamingo, flip-flops. I may, oh, I have to bring that to Mexico too. Um, all these little kits. Like when I say these little kits, I mean, I'm talking like these little bad boys. I have, this was the flip-flops. This is a doesn't even say the stitch count, but it says the size, so it's tiny. And then this guy is also pretty tiny. And then flip-flops is also very tiny. So um, I should just bring those three and knock them all out. Uh, yellow flip-flops, eggshell is the same. I know eggshell and crew are not the same color, but you know what I mean. I had to stretch it somehow. Plus the letter E is really hard. <laughs> A for Aladdin, R for rest vacation, so the flamingo kits. Set twice over, so this is the second time I'm doing Aladdin, and zero out the finish, meaning finish Aladdin. So hopefully there's that. My arm is now getting tired. Now I know why my nursery school teachers didn't really like to read that many books all at once. And then here we are with the February holidays. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna be stitching and when on these days, but there's some fun holidays. I like this one, eat ice cream for breakfast day. That's every day in my house. I think a mailman day. I don't think my mailman would like to be thanked by all the stitchy stuff that he brings me. He probably thinks I'm nuts. My son loves him. And then February recap. So this is where I'll figure it out for a month. And then I'm definitely thinking for March. I'm already thinking for March. That's crazy. Um, I'm thinking for March. Zelda and Oz, which may not work. I'm going to just carry over. So I'm going to do everything quarterly. So March is the end of third quarter. A first quarter, sorry, first. Um, so I'm just gonna close out first quarter with whatever I have open. So that, my friends, is my beautiful, and yes, you can tell what month I wrote because of the colors on my pen. My beautiful 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Planner by Jen Lee. If you don't already have it, go get it. Save yourself and just make it yours. 
just don't don't stress just have fun with it like that's what i'm doing that's what jen created it for um like i said i'm sure she is going to be making well she better at this point making a 2021 because i'm already thinking about it so that's that thank you jen lee and all your hard work and brandon and jen's mom everybody that went and helped make that so that's where i'm at if i've missed you terribly I have missed just sitting in my empty basement while the kids are napping and talking to my phone like it's my BFF. <laughs> um, just talking about cross stitch because sometimes my, this is strange, but you know what I mean? My real life friends versus my internet friends. You know what I mean? Like, right? Tell me you know what I mean. My real life friends don't stitch. My mom's used to stitch, but because she has macular degeneration um, and has had a cornea replacement on one eye, she does not anymore. But she understands and she totally supports my passion slash hobby slash the actual reason why I'm really doing stitching. Same with my husband. He doesn't get it, but he nods his head, lets me talk about it, is supportive of the whole idea of me going to floss tube retreat and is supportive of just me stitching in general. So there's that, and that's it. All I have to say is thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit. Sorry this is one of my longer videos, but you know, life is life, right? You love me anyway. I love you. Thank you for all your support and love. Thank you for your comments, your questions, your messages on Instagram. Thank you for checking in on me for some of you. Um, message me and was like, are you okay? Are you coming back? I'm back. I'm okay. Happy 2020. Um, I hope to have more progress and hope to be back next week. Until then, life is beautiful and so are you. Stay beautiful, my friends. Bye.